videos. Six, the unique way of interaction. Indeed, sex is the unique and most subtle way of interaction between a man and a woman. It requires deep understanding of human sexuality and also have a deep meditative insight. Only then sex can lead to transcendence. Both life and death are interconnected to one another in a mystical manner. What connects life and death is body and consciousness. Body and consciousness have a unique relation. Both are connected through sex and they have to be so because it is through sex that life is born one day. Also, it must be through sex that the life disappears again one day. When through sex body disappears, know this as transcendence. In most of the cases, through unconscious interaction in sex, another body is born. This way one remains in the vicious circle or better vicious cycle. And when out of awareness one day the body dissolves through the act of sex, then transcendence happens. The original source must be the end of cycle as well. Through sex the wave of life arises and these must subside into sex again. So sex is life and sex is death both. The same happens in meditation. The, you move into such a deep tuning, turning in, that suddenly you pass the third layer of chaos, you are dying. Meditation is death of all that is unwanted. And if you, if you become afraid, then there will be a block. In people who have become afraid of meditation, they make all sort of rationalizations not to do it. This creates a block within. But if you remain alert and allow death to happen in meditation or sex, you become deathless. The block is dissolved. You are light beyond the known. You know death happens all around and you are not dying. Dying yet not dying. This is a unique experience. Dying utterly and yet utterly alive. That is the most beautiful experience a man can have. This experience is the taste of light beyond sex. But the tragedy is that whole female body has to be aroused and the man is not interested in it. He has never been interested in it. He has used the woman as a sex machine just to relieve his own sexual tensions within seconds he is finished and by the time he is finished the woman has not yet begun the moment a man is finished making love he turns to the next side and goes to sleep. The sexual act helps him to have a good sleep, more relaxed, with all the tensions released in the sexual activity. And every woman has cried and wept when she has seen this. 
she had not yet started she has not yet moved she has been used and that is the ugliest thing in life when you are used as a thing as a mechanism as an object she cannot forgive the man for using her to make the woman also an orgasmic partner the man has to learn the art of foreplay he has to be meditative during the entire act take the act as meditation he need not to be in any hurry to go to bed he has to make love something of a graceful act they can have a place a love temple where incense is lit no glaring lights just candle or amber light for sex amber light deepens the effect of sexual bliss and blue light deepens meditation taking you deeper into inner realms also both should approach one another in a beautiful mood mood joyous and overflowing both should approach one another in a beautiful mood joyous and overflowing so both can share their presence with one another what happens ordinarily is that man and woman fight before they make love that poisons love love is a kind of a treaty that the fight is finished at least for tonight it is almost like a bribe a cheating a man should make love the way a painter paints when he feels the urge filling his heart to paint or the way a poet composes poetry or a musician plays musical interlude the woman's body should be taken as a musical instrument indeed it is so delicate that it needs to be handled with utmost care when the man is feeling joy then sex is not just a release a relaxation a sleeping method then there is or play he dances the woman sings with her with beautiful music vibrating the love temple with the fragrance of incense that they love it should be something of the sacred because there is nothing more sacred in ordinary life unless you make love sacred and that will be the beginning of the opening of the door of the whole phenomena of super consciousness remember that will be the beginning of the opening of the door of the whole phenomena of super consciousness in the absence of such understanding one feels so imprisoned by the fear of being intimate and totally losing control with a man there is an outrageous woman locked up inside everyone when she comes out and dance once in a while when she comes out once in a while the man usually freaks out so he goes back so she goes back into hibernation plays safe and is totally frustrated the relationship between man and a woman has been specifically unnatural 
a few facts have to be remembered. Firstly, the man has capacity for only one orgasm. Woman has the capacity for multiple orgasms. This has created a tremendous problem. The man becomes afraid of the woman for the simple reason that if he triggers one orgasm in her, then she is ready for at least half a dozen more orgasms and he is incapable of satisfying her love. Should never be forced. Love should never be an attempt. It should not be in the mind at all. Instead, you are playing dancing, singing and enjoying every bit of it. You are part of this long joy. If it, is happen if it happens, then it is beautiful. It cannot be forced. Let it be natural and spontaneous. Only then you enter into the deepest core of your being. Enough for now.